We have cherry blossoms. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna say Turkish. Turkish? Mayonnaise. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nessa and I'm 19 years old. I'm from the United States. Probably not from looks, but if I hear their accent or know some information about them, I can guess. I have many international friends and I've gotten to know them and kind of the way their vibes are, so maybe I can kind of match that to people I know, like, oh, she reminds me of so-and-so from France, maybe she's from France. Like, out of 10, I would say eight. <laughs> Stage one, guess by first looks. Okay, you have blonde hair and blue eyes, so I would guess like Northern Europe, Scandinavian maybe, but you're not so tall. Like I know, I know Northern European people can be super tall, but yeah, you could be. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> can you introduce yourself in your language? My name is Tara and I come from the land of Europe. I'm 22 years old. Definitely Northern. I think that's German because I went to Germany and it sounds familiar, so yeah, I will say German. What is your favorite thing to eat in your country? My favorite thing to eat in my country is Duna. Duna is actually not from my country. It's from a different country and they brought it into my country. <laughs> but it's basically bread with lamb or chicken meat and then vegetables and uh, sauce and it's really, really good. Germany. Because I know Tur the Turkish brought it to Germany, so... <laughs> What's the weather like right now in your country? Oh, right now? Similar to Korea, but milder, a lot milder. A bit rainy, probably. My final guess is Germany. By looks, obviously, I didn't know, but when she started speaking the language, I kind of had a hint. And then whenever she talked about the food, I knew <laughs> that's German food. Yeah. <laughs> so my name is Tara and I am German. <laughs> I'm from Hamburg in Germany. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Usually when people guess where I'm from, they guess like you, they're like Northern Europe or maybe I get Russia as well in Korea a lot. And they always say it's because of my face stru structure, like my bone structure, which I find very interesting. <laughs> Not quite sure what that means. <laughs> Good or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. Okay, goodbye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, okay, this is so difficult. Based off looks, I'm going to say France. I don't know why, but like the hair and the makeup, like in the jewelry, it looks fancy. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> Please introduce yourself and your native language. Hi, I'm Yara. I'm 27 years old. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the language she's speaking is Dutch. I'm not sure. <laughs> what do you like to eat? In your country? Mm, I really like to start my breakfast with something sweet. I usually tend to eat either cereal, bread or oats and I'm also a big lover of cheese so cheese at any meal of the day is totally acceptable. Do you like to put like sprinkles on your toast or like something? <laughs> oh maybe when I was a kid for sure okay. yeah. <laughs> do you like to ride your bike through the city? I do yeah it's the best way of transportation. It's very fast. <laughs> Great <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's from the Netherlands. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> so you thought I was French in the beginning, right? Yes. And then you heard me speak Dutch. Yes. How did you understand what I was saying? I have a close friend from the Netherlands. I so see. I've heard her talk to her parents on the phone and I've kind of tried to always remember how she talks and sometimes like try to imitate it. That makes sense, yeah. I get German a lot, so I thought... The last girl was German, but she said she never gets German. <laughs> so I always get German. <laughs> okay, well, it was great to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. See you soon. I'll see you later. <laughs> I really like languages, to be honest. Like, it's really interesting to me, different languages and how different the grammar is and everything. So I always pay attention and try to remember, oh yeah, Dutch sounds like this, German sounds like this. So if I ever meet somebody who speaks those languages, I can know or try to remember. In Europe, like, there's like this part. I've been around here, like Italy, France, Germany, like, but there's some, um, like Greece, I haven't been to there or that area, like Southeast. I haven't really been there, so I'm not sure about those languages or those people. I studied abroad, that's why. <laughs> Looking at you, I'm gonna say Turkish. Oh wow. I've never heard that before. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. I have no idea, so I'm just going off anything. Please introduce yourself. So in my country, we speak multiple languages, so I'm gonna do both. Bonjour, je m'appelle Olivia, j'ai 27 ans. Hello, ik ben Olivia, ik ben 27 jaar oud. Let me think. So, I know French is one of those languages. Ah, oh, I know. <laughs> I know that Belgium speaks two languages, Dutch and French, but I didn't pay close attention to the second one as much, so I'm not sure if it was Dutch, but I know the first one was French. What's your favorite local food? We have a lot in my country, but I would say fries. Do you put them in may mayonnaise? Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> we do. Are there also, are waffles popular? Maybe. <laughs> Might be. I'm going to guess Belgium. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there are a lot, a lot of different nationalities, ethnicities in my country. So I was born in Vietnam and then I moved um, when I was a little baby to Belgium. Oh. So yeah, that's why. But I've never heard Turkish. Well, I guess Turkish because I thought you looked Asian and yeah. I have friends in Turkey who are like Asian, even they're Turkish. Turkey is kind of like in the middle of Asia and so I was like, hey, dad. That was a good guess. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So what, what made you guess Belgium? Uh, was it the language or the food? I know like Switzerland has like three or four languages and Belgium has two. So yeah, I guess Belgium because French and Dutch. Oh, also I have, I have forgot to say we also speak German oh, wow. in some parts, but I, I cannot speak German, but yeah. I went to Belgium one time. I wanted to eat some French fries because it's popular in Belgium. Mm -hmm. And there was a long list of different like condiments. Yes. And number one was mayo. And I was kind of confused because I've never dipped my fries in mayo. Really? So never? Never in the United <laughs> States. That's a shock to me because like mayonnaise is like the most basic condiment to put. Yeah, but so I saw so many and I asked the server, I was like, which do you recommend? He's like, of course mayo because everyone has it. But it tastes different in Belgium. It's more like thick and creamy. In the United States, kind of watery and... It, it's so. also like... In Belgium, we say we need at least like five different condiments in our fridge to eat it with our fries. So yeah, it's like a big thing in Belgium. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you later. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Yeah, when I heard the two languages, I kind of assumed that it was Belgium. Yeah. But looks wise, I could not guess. <laughs> mm. I know I already said guessed someone was French, but I'm gonna guess you're French. <laughs> okay, just you need to give me some clues in a minute. Yeah, you just dress nicely and your hair looks really nice. So I feel like French people really care about like presentation, maybe in, in my experience. So <laughs> please introduce yourself to me and your native language. Hello, I'm Tammy. I'm from Bern. I've been 12 years long in England. So I have a British accent when I speak English. And I hope that I can be a little bit confused. And you have to read everything. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Northern Europe or South Eastern Europe. What is your favorite food from your country? It's called Bastetli and it's like this pastry with like meat and a sauce inside mm -hmm. and it's very delicious. Hungry or something. <laughs> <laughs> Does your country have like an ocean? No. No? Okay. Usually when you like hang out with your friends, what do you guys do? Coffee shops. It's a very beautiful country if I do say so myself. So maybe like riding the bike or maybe even hiking if we're feeling a little adventurous. What's the weather like? these days, the terrain, like are there mountains or? There are mountains. We have the same as Korea, four distinct seasons. It gets very hot in the summer, not as humid um, as Korea, but very cold in the winter. We have cherry blossoms. I have no idea actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what can I guess? I just need to think of a random place. Austria? <laughs> Switzerland. You were close. Which language was that? That was the local dialect, Swiss German. Oh, that's why I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> and you, there's cherry blossoms, really? Mm. I believe they were gifted by like the Japanese government or something. So it's like oh. Japanese cherry blossoms, but in Switzerland. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't understand that language at all. So at first I was not thinking of any countries that I'm really familiar with. So I was thinking of like the ones I don't know. Meat, pastry, I thought like like Budapest or like Vienna, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think I was a little bit of a curveball because I don't look like uh, the yeah. typical Swiss person. But now after you said everything, it makes sense. So each 
area has its own regional dialect and usually German people can't really understand Swiss German so in schools or like when you see things written down everything is like standard German so it's only like a spoken language rather than a written language and then if you go an hour outside of where I'm from for example the, the accent and the dialect is different, the words are different and so are you familiar with the other areas dialect or do you sometimes go there and you're not sure like what did they say? Swiss people can understand each other um, definitely but I think mine's the nicest personally. Okay. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> but I'm from the capital and then like each like Zurich has its own accent, Basel and all of those other places but yeah mine is Bern accent. Okay so thank you very much I'll see you later so have a good time. <laughs> I think the language just threw me off. Because Switzerland has like three or four languages. So if she would have told me that in the beginning, like, oh, well, there's like multiple, like the Belgium girl told me, then I think I would have guessed it. But I was not sure, like, is that German or? <laughs> yeah, so. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hmm, blue eyes and blonde hair, so maybe Northern Europe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Denmark from looks, but can you introduce yourself in your native language? Hallo, mein Name ist Carmen. Ich bin 29 Jahre alt. Maybe Danish or Swedish or something. <laughs> Norwegian, I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite local food? What do you like to eat? It's a bit hard for me to find food because I don't really like meat. And we have a lot of meat in our country. So I usually really like Italian food, uh, like pasta. For example, are people really tall in your country? Usually, yeah, people are taller, but they are also quite average. Okay, yeah. so are you average or a little bit below average? Or? I think I'm two centimeters below the average okay. for women. Like, what is your usual like in high school? What is the typical day? Yeah, usually we just go to the high school by bus. Uh, it's usually you have to drive a little bit if you're living on the countryside. You have your subjects and then you can have meal there. And then you also have school at like in the afternoon and then you go home, usually also by bus. How long is the lunch break? In my high school, it was like around one hour. Yeah, because we had a long day. Maybe Denmark? I don't know. Which country are you from? I'm from Austria. Austria. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't guess that. Yeah, but, but you were close, like. <laughs> <laughs> Which language was it? German. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that's German, but I, there's already someone from Germany. So I was like, I'm not yeah. going to guess Germany because yeah. I don't think they would do the same person twice. I was speaking quite beautiful German because usually I have a really heavy accent, like dialect. Yeah, yeah. yeah because I noticed German sounds different, like different yeah. people. And there's like dialects, and so that's yeah. confusing. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it good. We use the same words usually, but some are different. So, um, but basically it's quite the same. But I would say in Austria we have more dialects than in Germany or let's say the dialects are more obvious in Austria and more different than in Germany for example people from Vienna have also some problems to understand me oh. <laughs> yeah so I have to speak a little bit less like a little bit prettier so oh. they can understand me <laughs> okay <laughs> like I mean I can't understand the words but just the tone and like the enunciation like it was very different I think so <laughs> yeah yeah I think if you don't speak German it can sound really similar but if you're a native speaker then you can hear the difference usually really clear. Okay, so see you later. Have yeah. a good time. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. It was more difficult than I thought. In the beginning it was easier, but I think I kind of lost. Ooh. It got worse and worse as time went on. But it was very interesting because I didn't know they spoke German in Austria and I didn't know that in Switzerland it's like a different kind of type of Germans. Very interesting. I didn't know that. Three out of five. I think I'm satisfied. I mean, I came in without many expectations because I wasn't exactly sure like where they would be. I cannot really guess off of just looks and the language a little bit. But if I'm not familiar with that language, it's really difficult. So I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Today I guessed different people's nationalities. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe and comment down below. <laughs>